Welcome back to another video. Let's go. Oh, back to birth. Universe today is a new day. Hey, we got a what? We got my wife, but we got a biker. 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 Today, you know what time it is. Retwisting time, man. You guys see my hair? Can't even see my scalp. Toe up from the flow up. Toe up from the flow up. But we're gonna get it reversed and get it done. Before we get into this video, here is intro. 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 Which way do I twist? This way or this way? Okay. Nice. Can you give me like a towel so I can wipe the dandruff I take out? Baby? The towel is from earlier? Hmm? The towel from earlier? Yeah, just so I can wipe off if I take off any dandruff. Like, cause I'm taking it off with my fingers and all. So what do I grab? Yeah, it's a towel or anything. I'm not putting it on your hair though. I'm taking it out with my fingers and I'm wiping it on the towel. Yeah, but when you wipe it, sometimes the cotton gets stuck in there. I'm not putting the towel in your head. They're not staying tight. Is that fine or? Yeah. <clears throat> Did I poke your eye? I'm sorry. Touch. As you guys see that uh, she's actually going with the separation that's already been done before. Prior to uh, starting my dreadlocks, I had a, a twist with my hair that she did. And literally, this is a section that she created. I don't even think she realizes that. But right here, she's making sure that everything is separated from the bottom up. Whenever you're done with rinsing and stuff like that, things can still be inside your dreads. So what you do is you usually twist them till you squeeze them out, just like that. And then uh, you grab a towel or, uh, yeah, a towel usually, that's what I use. Don't use napkin or anything that can end up getting into, into your dreads. Just use something uh, like a microfiber towel, just like that, to get it out and not put stuff inside your dreads. Or even squeeze it in instead of squeezing it out. Uh, right here I have a Congo. She's confused with what was going on. <laughs> but I combined those together. On purpose uh, a long while ago. I think Gunther the Great is the one that connected those. If not, there's ones that I've connected myself, but uh, I just kind of like connected it with crochet uh, needle and I never 
showed you guys that, but sorry for that. In the future, if I end, uh, end up getting Congos, I'll do that. Uh, but yeah, enjoy the silence. Uh, enjoy the quietness. Because uh, sometimes that's the best place that you can think or come up with the best solution for your lifestyles, for your choices, decisions that you can make. And so I don't want to put a lot of music on this video. As I was browsing uh, some of the music files that I had uh, and also that was, that was available on YouTube, I found this cool little sound and uh, almost sound like uh, African tune, like Egyptian tune or Persian tune, but it's pretty cool. But uh, I kind of like a lot of the uh, lo-fi music that they make out there is pretty good, like for quiet time and for listening or uh, even reading and stuff like that. And so... I'm going to play this. It's not lo-fi or anything like that, but it's pretty cool. And uh, if you guys enjoy it, later on, I'm going to be playing the whole thing. the comments all right she started to braid uh my hair from the front uh with two and three i think she started with three of them and basically it's almost like a regular braiding uh but the only difference is that as you go down you gotta grab more dreads uh that you haven't grabbed yet so when i where you get to like a new uh new root of one of the dreads or few of the dreads you just grab them uh up to the amount that you can probably hold or that it looks pretty even with and uh you keep working your way down it's pretty i don't know to me it's kind of confusing i have never done it on my own i may end up attempting to do it one of these days maybe if you guys uh request it or if you guys are interested in that but uh this is her doing it uh pretty good and pretty tight on my head you don't want it too tight, of course, uh, but she did as much as she can with what she was able to do. Since my dreadlock is very thick, it's not easy to just make a bend. As for if I had like a, you know, like a thinner dreads, and it would be easy for her to do. Your hair's so long now. <laughs> yes, it is. Like, I don't know how to braid all the rest of this because they're different lengths. Okay. You know what they remind me of? What? Like uh, uh, a mammoth tooth. They just like... You know? Uh -huh. Wow, that looks good. Yay. I need another hair tie. Do you have another one? Do you have one? No, I don't. Okay, we need one. And like promised, this is the full audio of that uh, weird music that I played earlier. You may think it's cool. I think it's cool.
then. Oh, already? I don't know how the bottom looks. I wonder if I could put a smaller hair tie. Because they're so long. Let me see. Dang, they're so long. Maybe cut them in half like this. Want me to put it in like that? Or braid it all the way down, actually. Because they were too too long and short, like they wouldn't hold. They can fold it in. Like if you braid it all the way as much as you can and put the rubber bands on, that'd be cool. I tried. They tried, okay. It's kind of tricky when it comes to uh, long dreads and also thicker dreads at the end of it because it's hard to put them in a braid because they just keep on popping off for, because they have so much hair and the strength is a lot more tougher than skinnier dreads uh, but we're using like small rubber bands safe safe rubber bands for my hair right now I'm about to check it out ah okay okay mamacita you are very good at this and it's tight on my head too, I feel it. Oh, oh my God. What? Like a ram. <laughs> you seen a ram before? Yeah. It's really long, huh? Yeah, it's really long. Jeez. Oh my God. Should I just take it out then? Make it a ponytail? It's like, it looks good, I just don't like this end. Cause it's just too long, I guess. Like what the heck? I'm about to. It does somebody. look funny. <laughs> like it does look like a ram. Like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna just take this part out. And like my hair is like green. It looks green, huh? Yeah, the blue is coming on my hands. This is all dry, retwist by the way. No gel, no nothing. Just water. Just literally water. Boom. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. I can even do it a bun like this if I wanted to, really. No, I don't like it. If it was like a nice bun, that would be nice. Here, let me try. Oh, that is hard. <laughs> <laughs> you reach anything. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Look in the mirror. Oh. Yeah, I like it. So rough. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't want those. It's gonna come out. I told no, you, grab don't. a bobby pin. You know how uh, do red you guys usually wear it this way? This time you're gonna wear it from the bun because the bun is the main part. Can't let the bun out. Okay? So I'm doing it this way, the opposite way. Yeah, it's weird, but it's doable. You can do it if I can do it. See it? <laughs> it's the opposite way of doing it. Whoa, I'm telling y'all, if I got the waves right now, like I would have the best waves off the back. Tuck them in so you don't look like they're hanging and stuff. Now you guys are ready to sleep. Any hairstyle without haircut looks a little bit goofy, but any ha any hairstyle with any any hairstyle with a haircut looks amazing. So you know what I'm saying? Let me just fix all that. Check out the previous video. But until next time, keep acting diverse and creating your universe. I'm Activerse. I'm out. Stay tuned, 20. Kite.